built the original, and I hope we were able to uh, uh, maintain that great atmosphere here, this great place, this great landmark, uh, and make it just a little bit better. So let's uh, let's formally cut the ribbon. formally opened Hillbrand Memorial Stadium uh, for the second time. Thanks for all of you for being here. It is a, a terrific night, um, and there's going to be some great nights here and great days here, too. So I hope you enjoy the facility. Hope you've had a chance to look around a little bit. Um, I'm going to turn it over to our leader, President of the University, Dr. Bobby Robbins. Thanks, everyone, for hanging in with us. Uh, unfortunate with the weather, uh, but it, it, this is the second time that I've seen Dobie uh, wheel the scissors. Uh, last Saturday was at the pool and now tonight. So it just shows that you can become a surgeon very quickly. So you take training very well. And thank you for all the support and, uh, over the years. But uh, I, I think we can all agree this is actually the house that Mike built. And so uh, it's incredible to have you here. And uh, hopefully, this is like the designated hitter rule. This will extend your career with this new stadium for another 10 or 15 years. Not often does a guy get a chance to live two dreams in a lifetime. Actually three, it's Valentine's Day, so one is my wife. To go back to 93 when Bill Hillenbrand, Bill and Dobie stepped up and gave us the great Rita of Hillenbrand Stadium that we're so used to. That was very good to us, and to see now uh, a little remodel, uh, but a very special place. And I can sit here and thank so many people, but I do want to thank uh, all of, first of all, our administration, Dave Hickey, uh, Erica Barnes for really making this thing happen and giving us a jump start. I used to think I could control the weather at this place, but I guess I'm losing my touch. Um, but this is why we do it. These, these girls behind us right now, this program has been blessed um, to have a legacy that I'm very proud of. You look at the wall, you look at 100 All-Americans, that's not easy to do. But most people would say, well, you should win with 100 All-Americans, right? Those eight national championships, every one of them very special. Um, but these are the pride of Arizona right here. These young ladies do a great job. They do a great job on the field, but they also do a great job in the classroom. Uh, this group, this last semester, had a 3.4 GPA. So. I really want to thank the donors that have got behind this um, construction project and really um, made a lot of this happen. Um, our lifeblood is really you, the fans. And this is what makes Rita Hillenbrand Stadium so very special. Uh, there's not a place in the country that young ladies get a chance to walk into a place like this with such avid fans that have supported us through some good times, through some bad times, more good times than bad times. But I want to thank you guys because you, you do make this place a very special place. And the one thing I'm proud of is this is a great place for us to be able to celebrate the legacy, the people that came before us, all the athletes that have performed here, but also to get this place set up for the future of Arizona softball for a long time. And in today's world, um, we feel very blessed and very special, Dave, that we have a place that we can call home that I think is probably one of the nicest, if not the nicest facility for softball in the country. So thank you guys. And I'll leave it, I'll leave it with two words. Bear down. Well, thanks again, everyone. Let's come back. Uh, little did we know we were going to christen that roof uh, with a little bit of rain, but it's going to block a lot of sun in the future. So thanks, everybody. Bear down and go catch. Yeah.